Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi, straight out of Sarkis. And woo! Hopefully it'll quiet down just a little bit. But today, I want to talk with you guys about one of the most important things you can do. And if you add this thing in with what you guys are doing right now, with whatever your goals are, this is going to be that ingredient that gets you going, gets you to achieve those goals no matter where you're at right now. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The main thing I wanna talk about today is consistency, right? Now this is a topic that a lot of people don't find it sexy and you don't always wanna talk about it because it's not your get rich quick or get something done in a very short amount of time kind of thing, right? It takes a second to, uh, to actually implement this in your life because you have to be consistent. Because a lot of the times what happens is, let's say as programmers, right, as people who are trying to learn how to code, whether it's Python, PHP, Java, whatever it is try you're trying to learn, web development, um, or even if some you're doing something out of programming, what it takes is incremental effort to get better at it, right? A lot of the times what happens with me is sometimes when I want to learn something new, I see one of my friends do it and they're really good at it, right? I'm like, holy shit, like this person is really good at it, right? Then what happens to me is I want to get there immediately. And if I don't get there immediately, um, I will feel discouraged, disappointed, and I'll kind of identi identify myself with that. But it's important to understand that, um, you know, that that person, it took them a long time of consistent effort, consistent small failures. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can have that. Thank you so much. You know, um, it just takes a long time. Oh, that looks delicious. Thank you. How good does that look? Yeah. So uh, we're going to eat in a, in a second. Uh, my good friend Kluxio Mustafa is uh, recording this for me. You guys should check out some of his photography on his Instagram. We'll link it in the description below, but uh, let's not get sidetracked. So, you know, we, we feel like we have to get there immediately. And if we don't get there immediately, like we get kind of uh, upset about it, right? Or they get disappointed. And then what happens? It kills your journey. So let's say you want to learn how to play pool, right? Like the snooker or pool. And you see your friend play really well. Now you get smoked by him, blown out of the water, and you just get really frustrated. What can you do to improve yourself? Well, start by slowly, you know, working on your strokes. Start by slowly, like, working on potting a few balls, right? And enjoy that process. Make small goals and enjoy that process and be consistent with it. Same thing with computer programming. Let's say you're getting frustrated with it and it's hurting your brain and you're like, I can't do this. This is too difficult. So what happens? You stop enjoying the process and then after that, every second of it feels like work and then that leads to you quitting. So for you to be consistent, you have to associate that with something that's fun, right? And then after that, what you wanna do is just make small, consistent effort, okay? Day in and day out. You know, I can tell you, sometimes it doesn't feel like fun. Sometimes it just feels like crap. Right? You just won't feel good. You'll be coding. You'll be trying to um, you know, like get through a specific problem, work on a specific project, or just get through a tutorial, and it'll just feel like painful grind, pulling your teeth, but you gotta get through it, okay? So certain times what you wanna do is just, okay, I wanna spend one hour every day to work on this skill, whether it's fun or not. So you want to try to make it as fun as possible, but if you can't make it fun, you gotta meet that one hour, half hour criteria that you have set for yourself. And then grind through it, right? Here's what happens. You'll take a W or you'll take a, you know, a, a really good win one day and you'll just have success and everything will be making sense to you in programming and you'll be smoking this project and working really well at, on it, right? Whether it's a Python app you're developing or, or whatever. And then the next day, you just feel like you're stuck in this problem. Can't get through it. Spent six hours and haven't improved at all. And you just feel like plateau, right? And, and you feel frustrated. But even though that day you didn't make any further progress, I can promise you, you still got better. 
okay? So even when at times it doesn't feel like you're improving, if you're putting time into working on a specific skill set, even if you're failing, you are improving, okay? Whatever it is, you want to learn how to dive off of a swimming board, you want to learn how to do keep ups in soccer, you want to learn how to hit those three pointers, it'll be that frustrating grind and even if you're failing and missing them constantly, 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 you're still improving. And that's the key thing, okay? So consistency, try to mix it up with fun, and that works really well. It helps you get through obstacles, but you have to set yourself up in a way where you don't give yourself excuses, where you don't let yourself off the hook. If you say you're gonna do it for half hour, one hour, you gotta do it, you gotta push through it. Sometimes it won't feel like fun, but if you keep doing consistently, one, it will become fun, two, and which is the most important one, you will improve in it, okay? So there you have it, consistency. That's your one of your number one or one of your biggest secrets to getting successful. And it's not really a secret, but it's just something you have to brainwash yourself into thinking, telling yourself, and doing it all the time, right? Whatever skill it is that you wanna do, consistently putting work into it. So. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your faces off. Now I'm gonna go back to eating some amazing omelet and I'll see you in the next video.